Hello kids, good afternoon. Who are there? Hello, Hardik. Hello, Shafa. Hello, Shikha. And hello, Shreyas. How are you all? Okay. Hello, kids. So let's start. Okay. So today we are going to do a very simple. very very simple every time our sessions are very simple but today it's very very simple drawing of an apple bug okay so it means we are going to draw an apple and a cute bug also and there's some background that's it and we will color it neatly so i hope you can hear me and see the screen properly okay so let's start okay so keep your book in landscape mode or sleeping lion mode like this okay or up to you any way you can keep okay so let's start first step first step is exact in the middle make a nice curve like this so we are making it little bigger so that's why this is the top of the apple is quite bigger hello prisha how are you okay and next step is see from this end we will make a nice curve to down and from this end also another nice curve to down should look nice so if there is any the any correction erase and correct it okay dears so make it nice curve okay so the next step so once you've complete these two step you can just connect these two with a small wavy line like this but not too curvy is this much Okay, dears. After that, what you have to do is just make one nice curve inside here. Okay, not in the middle. See, almost over here. You can just add a small curve like this. Hello, Deep Jani. How are you? and little ones once you finish it don't forget to share with me your drawing okay so make it very beautiful so next step so our apple is ready and now we have to add a stalk of the apple so that so we made a small curve over here so from that curve make a nice curve like this to the outside okay next is on the top just make one more line like this a slanting line okay you know why because we are going to make another curvy line like this to make the stalk little thicker okay so just add one small short line here and then connect it to the 
to that curve back again. After that, we can erase that line that comes inside the stock. So our stuff will look Then, yes, then anybody completed? May I go to the next step? If you have completed, just let me know in the comment section, okay? Hello, Jana. Today I saw your uh, ladybug and it was really nice. And also the pencil drawing, also. Yes, okay, Shrey is completed. Very good. Okay, so now let me go to the next step. So we will add one small leaf for the apple also. Okay, so what we have to do from this point, okay, from this point, again, we will make a nice slanting line like this. Done. Okay, Shafa also done. Okay, dears, so just make it one slanting line over here and just two curves on opposite sides, one over here and one over here. Okay, so just make one line and just add two curves on the opposite side. So our leaf also ready. Then again, erase anything that comes inside the leaf. Just erase carefully. So it will be this much. Hello, Big Prakash, how are you? So our apple is completely done. So it's really nice apple. So we can add a bug in it. Okay, Adrija completed. Now adding the bug is again quite simple. Okay, let's add some nice circle over here. Okay, start from here. Make a nice circle. One. What you do next? Make one more circle on the top like this two next is again one more circle that's it okay like this add more more curves on the top like two or three or as many as you want okay so i'm going to add one more Hi Adrija and hi Rikshai. Okay, so make two or three or four as many as you want. If you want to make your bug a little bigger one, lengthy, taller one, you can add more and more circles. Okay, so once you finish all the circles, what you have to do is, let's add the head. So for the head, what you have to do is make it a little bigger circle. Okay, little bigger than the these circles which we have already drawn make it a little more bigger quite bigger one so this is the head of our bug so let's add the eyes Again, add two circles for the cute eye and a nice smile curve. And see, like this, two antennas on his head, also you can add like two curves on both sides. Okay, one to here and one to here. Okay, so our bug also ready. Next is, hi dears. Hello, hello, hello Leroy. Let me know your name also, so it will be easy for me. And how are you Leroy? How is it going? 
Okay, babes. So let's go to the next step. Next step is adding. Uh, so our main picture is done. Okay, the apple bug is ready. Now we have to add a small background, and it's up to you now. Okay, so I'm just adding a straight line from here and adding two three bumps like this for the grasses to left side also yes okay ammo okay ammo that's good so i can call you ammo <laughs> okay so i hope you all have done all this next is the background again the sky you can add a nice and some clouds and all now it's up to you okay so just add some nice clouds and if you have any more idea add that also anything you can add okay maybe you can add some flowers here anything take your time and add it okay, making a nice circle for the sun And also added yes Trisha I added a sun I'm fine dear how are you thank you so much okay so those who have completed it what you have to do is you can since we are going to or I'm going to use a oil pastel or crayon you can always outline before coloring okay can outline before coloring and okay so let's outline first and if you want to use some different coloring medium like uh, sketch pens or color pencil whatever you are comfortable you can use that okay so no need to use the same thing what I say you can always decide and do whatever you want yes dear because uh, when we use this oil pastels you know if we have this pencil marks there it will get smudged and will make like a mess also uh, after doing it, it we don't we can't outline proper outline first and then we can do the coloring while using oil pastels okay that's the, just the technique so it's easy to outline and then color that's why Inside the eye also you can just add some white circles and fill that remaining part with black color to make the bug little cuter. Of course dear you can make a big cloud or some birds on the sky, some butterflies anything whatever comes to your mind draw it color it and make it beautiful and after making it beautiful don't forget to send to me also
maybe you can add an eye for the sun also if you like like it is and once you complete the outlining let's erase all the lines of the pencil marks okay so then after erasing only our pen mark will remain there okay so just using your eraser Okay, dears. Mm, eyes for the clouds also. You want to make cloud also happy? Okay. So just take your pen. And make the nice happy cloud also. Okay, this cloud is looking at the bug. And let's make the sun also looking at the bug <laughs> okay so we have added eyes for everything and now it's time for coloring okay so you can take your oil pistols or crayons or if any other medium you like you can use that and the first color is red color for our apple okay so let's start with apple first so take your red color and neatly fill the apple. Is it again started? Okay, dears, I'm just uh, coloring with red color. Okay, if the screen is blurry, maybe some network issue again. <laughs> okay, so just wait for one or two minutes. It will definitely be all right. And when you're coloring, make sure there is no white space. Okay, so without any white space, fill it. And also if anyone is still doing just post the video okay if you're still drawing just post the video and complete it slowly only no need to rush okay slowly slowly draw and once you finish only start playing Of course, dear, of course, of course, you can leave any step also. If you don't want to make the I4 clouds and sun, you can leave that step also, okay? Totally up to you, dears. No need to be bothered about such things, okay? And so, a few, 
i hope you all have completed coloring the apple if you still doing just pause the video and those who have completed can take the brown color now to fill this stock and also for giving some shading okay Okay, just with the brown, I'm just giving shading on this area also, okay, around the apple also. Okay, so that much we have done with the brown color. Okay, okay, Prisha completed. And once after that, we can pick our light green. Okay, just take your light green and color the leaf completely. Okay, Rakshay also done. Okay, so let's go to the next step for coloring the leaves. Okay, pick your light green and fill it. Okay, with dark green, just give a light lines around it. Okay, so the leaves also done. Now the bug. For the bug, let's take a yellow color. And this bug, you know, you can color it with any color you like actually. Okay, so if you want to color it a brown bug, you can do. If you want to color it an orange bug, you can do yellow, green or any color you can use for your bug. Okay, even pink bugs are also acceptable. Okay, so right now I'm going to use a yellow and green shade for our bug. Okay, so first I'm taking yellow color and going to fill the entire bug. green bug yes okay any color bug you can use <laughs> okay and after doing this yellow you can take light green and give a shading just like what we have done for all these okay just around it give a light green shade just to make it a little attractive <laughs> okay so that's it and now we have some backgrounds right that you can fill according to your favorite you can just pick your favorite colors and do according to your drawing okay and also one more thing 
if you like the bug and apple don't forget to like our this okay so i'm going to fill the ground part with some light green color like like a um, like a landscape some grassland And after light green, you can just take some dark green again for giving some shadings. Make it beautiful. And again the sun. Sun we can color yellow or orange. Today let's color orange sun. Okay. So let's take an orange color to fill the sun. now the clouds okay clouds will always be white color only uh shreyas i used a lemon yellow shade baby lemon yellow like a uh, light yellow may be enough okay and also maybe you can shade with a dark yellow to make it looks more beautiful okay if you have that yellow ochre shade you can just give some shading with that also and it will look more beautiful, more detailed and more beautiful. Like this. Okay. <laughs> and again, there's this uh, cloud is white, of course. So I'm not going to fill the cloud. But around it, I'm going to just give some blue color. Around it, okay. Not on it not inside it just around it like this hello trisha how are you 
and all of you your exams got over or still going on many of our kids having exam right <coughs> okay good to know that trisha okay so you are free and is there any vacation or it's just again another okay dear so our bug apple bug is ready so those who have completed don't forget to send me your drawing and whatever you have added to your picture okay so send me what is your how it came and all okay and after the session also it will be great to see your or your feedbacks okay if you love it and all okay so just let me know whatever all right so take care and see you on next tuesday again with a simple silly drawing and sunday for our pickets okay so take care dears and stay blessed bye dears take care